Hey, brothers and sisters, what time are we in? Think about it. We're at the end of the race, okay? We've been running this race for a long time now, and we're at the end. We can see the finish line. I mean, are you looking? Are you seeing? Is Christ at the end? Do you see him? Keep your eyes focused on him and him alone. The enemy right now is is not stopping at anything to try and distract us. He's standing on the sidelines, waving and shouting. He's throwing stuff, trying to trip us. He's trying to push us down. All these things he's trying to do. We have to keep running. Ask the Lord for strength and supernatural protection to finish the race strong. Keep your eyes focused on Him and Him only. If you're having problems, ask the Lord to help you. He will. He will use the enemy for your good if you keep your eyes on him. I asked for a scripture today and the Lord showed me Luke chapter 4 verse 8. And Jesus answered and said unto him, talking to Satan, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And this also popped out to me, too, where Jesus was speaking in the synagogue. He went to Nazareth, and he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of the sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. You know, all glory and honor to our Father in heaven. He gives us strength. He gives us spiritual discernment. He gives us a heart of flesh. And if we have our eyes constantly focused on Him and Him only, and praying for discernment, and guidance, we can never go wrong. We can never go wrong. No matter what the enemy tries to throw at us, trying to keep us down, trying to keep us focused on only things that are earthly and not on things from above, this is the, the trick. So God bless each and every one of you. Please stay strong, keep your faith, and all glory and honor to our Father in heaven, Jesus the Christ.